What's going on, YouTube? Welcome to the Jim of All Trades channel. Glad you made it by. My name's Jim. I am a crypto trader and a Forex trader here to help you understand the market from an Elliott Wave perspective. Uh, don't forget to hit the likes. You can smash the likes. You can tap the likes. Do anything you want. Hit the like button if you would. Uh, yeah, it would help my chan help my family and help my channel, obviously, but uh, uh, that would be great. And if you could leave some love in the comments, that would be much appreciated. Guys, what I want to do this morning is just warn you about a potential uh, count that I'm seeing in the market that uh, could be super dangerous uh, for most people. Okay, so I want to I want to just warn you about some dangers that I'm seeing uh, in the market uh, before you get Ultra Moon Boy uh, on us. Okay, as this as this market goes up. Okay, so let me just uh, jump in. We'll, I'll show you what I'm seeing, what I'm looking at, what the possibilities are, and uh, don't forget, not financial advice. All I can give you is my opinion right now at this given moment with the information that I have on the market. You know, guys, anything that I say might be wrong uh, my my bias might be wrong but I'm gonna try to show you as many options uh, where price could go as I can in about 10 minutes time so we'll keep this video as, as quick as uh, we can so let's jump in all right what I want to warn you about is uh, uh, this is a uh, actually let me put that back on there this is a uh, <clears throat> a pattern in the market that we see over and over and over again it's a pattern the market uses that's called a flat okay now what a flat does it's a three wave correction and what the flat does is the B wave often comes back 90 to over a hundred percent of the A wave so in this case here this would be the A wave right here and uh, this this came down in three uh, three waves okay uh, we can count it as three I've, I can show you how to count that as three if you want but uh, this came down in mainly three waves it came down to the 1618 extension of this particular wave so it's looking really good it's looking like a nice three wave move the best I can tell now what the B wave does it needs to go up in three waves and it appears like this is a possible three wave move that we're getting okay and it looks like that might be a possibility and the one-to-one -one extension of this move is right here sitting at 60 63 7 okay which is really the top of this wave roughly um, shoot the uh, this three-wave move can get as high as the 127 or the 1414 range okay in other words this can come up uh, much higher than this and still be a corrective wave because what happens well what happens basically is there's a lot of liquidity for anybody that was shorting the market and still holding their shorts there's a lot of liquidity up above here and the market likes to go and grab that liquidity now what there are people that break out trade they see the break of that top as a signal that the market is definitely bullish and it's going to keep going okay and uh, others have their stops up here so there's a lot of buy orders up here for any sell stop you have a buy order up here and for any breakout trader they're looking to buy in this range okay because because that to them is the confirmation okay and by the way there is no confirmation that's a that <laughs> there's <laughs> that is a fallacy in the market uh, there's no such thing as confirmation in the market there's never any confirmation in the market but that said looking at this possibility that this could be a flat okay it's shaping up as a potential flat I want to just warn you about it um, it doesn't mean it's gonna be a flat okay it just means that uh, it's a potential count that I see that could really devastate a lot of you guys and I just want to protect you from it in case it in case it plays okay because that there's a real strong possibility that when we break this high or come back up to this high in this range okay if we do and I've got counts that say we do uh, get back up there and if we get back up to that range then um, what's going to happen is uh, it could come down very steeply in five waves very quickly uh, we could still get down to that 20k range it could go shorter than that it could be a running flat uh, I don't know how far but we it would come down in five waves and I could pull some fibs and give you some ideas on where where that price would come just it depends on how high it comes okay let's just say it comes to the to the one-to-one -one extension we got we got a one-to-one -one target here at 287 okay if it comes to the 127 the one-to-one -one is 35k all right but the corrective pocket if it, it could come on the C wave could come all the way down anywhere in between anywhere in between the one to one and the one six one eight and that would be a flat correction it would be a three wave correction off the top okay and um, a, a still a, a possibility now whether that happens or not I don't know uh, I'm not here to try to say that's gonna happen I'm not here to tell you that's definitely going to happen I just want to protect you from uh, the, the potential that uh, you could get wrecked especially a lot of you that that 
tend to want to buy, be buying in this range. I just don't think that that's a wise, a wise um, decision to make, especially when when price gets up here. Most likely, the RSI is going to be super over overbought, super overbought. I'm looking for something like that, maybe one, two, three, four, five, something like that. Get us up in this range here, and there's a real strong potential that this thing just just comes down. Now, it doesn't have to go to that range. Okay, my yellow line right here is the lowest level. Okay, the lowest level that price needs to hit in order for a flat to be valid. In other words, if we're going to get a five wave move to the downside, a flat is valid once you get 90% back of this particular wave. And that yellow line de uh, denotes the 90% uh, mark of this particular wave, okay? So that's the way I'm looking at that, guys. wanted to warn you about that potential, okay? So if this flat plays out, there's a couple of ways that I can count this B wave. I can count the B wave as a flat itself, um, where I have a the, the A, the B, and this is all C, okay? This is the C wave. In other words, this 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 wave right here, uh, one, two, three, four, five. This was the fourth wave, and this is the fifth wave that we're getting. Is uh, is finishing up, and it's finishing up right around. It, it would finish her up once we have five finished waves in this in this particular wave. We're looking for five finished waves in that. We'll go to the small time frame in just a minute and look at that. Um, <clears throat> so that's one count, and then so this would be a three, a three, and then a five. Okay, another way to count this. Again, is the way I just shared it. That so we move the A wave, move the A wave right here, okay, and then we're going to make the B wave an A, B, and a C, getting up to that range or higher, okay. So that's a possibility as well. So that takes us up a bit higher. Now I don't know which is correct. I, I tend to believe the first one that we're not going to get break the top, but I can see the market makers really breaking the top, and that would be a, a likely scenario where they break the top, get everybody FOMOing in, the entire market super bullish, and then they rip it to the downside. So that's a possibility of a play coming uh, coming down the pipe as well. Okay, um, let's see what other count could that be if it's a, if it's a, I think those are my main two counts there for uh, if it's a flat. Now, if the flat does not play, that's going to get invalidated uh, by a continuation move. Okay, in other words, uh, what we likely would see is this would be a one and a two. Okay, and this whenever this finishes, we do get a pullback, but it's not a deep pullback. It's just like three waves, something something along these lines here. Okay, some 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 kind of a three-way pullback proportional to this wave right here. Okay, so we look for three-wave pullback, and we look for bullish divergence here on the uh, RSI and the four-hour chart. We look for this thing to come on down, create bullish divergence, give you bull divergence, and then go up for another level. And we'd be looking at this as a one-two, one-two, and that would be to the upside. Okay, and so that would be the real. That'd be a warning to the bears out there that that that's a likelihood as well. That's a possible count that we could have a major bull move to the upside uh, that takes us over and above 100k. Um, I just don't know what, what kind of world markets would, would support some, uh, something like that right now, especially considering the world we're living in and what I'm seeing in the major markets and the crash that's coming. So uh, we'll have to see, guys. We'll have to wait and see. But uh, I do see a market crash coming. I don't know how Bitcoin's going to fare in that market crash, if everything's going to transfer over to oh, over to crypto or digital assets, I know that our our governments are ready to uh, are ready to roll out their digital assets. We got the digital dollar in the U.S. China's got the digital yuan. I know that the you know, central governments are creating digital assets to to transition to. They're gonna when when we have an economic crisis and and the dollar tanks or or the uh, the fiat system begins to tank, uh, they're gonna say here this is gonna replace it just like they did in Germany when the German mark after the uh, World War Two uh, when the German mark crashed they just created a new currency said here it is and they and you know then they you had a new the new mark um, and so that's basically what they do it's the great reset we, we call it so I don't know exactly how this world's going to play out in, in that scenario but I do know that a market crash is due to happen any time between now and, and, and the beginning of next year uh, a major economic crisis going to go down most likely don't know how Bitcoin and the regular crypto market is going to fare in that my take is that it's 
going to crash and come down pretty volatilely as well. And so I'm really looking for a top here of, of a three-wave move somewhere in these vicinities. And once this finishes up here, guys, we're looking for a really a real potential steep move to the downside. Um, I'm trying to think of other places where we've had flats before. Let me take you on another chart here, uh, and, and I'll just show you other flats where everybody thought we were a moon boy uh, and then it just just came down after a flat so here's an example of one right here okay we had a a three-wave correction off the top here okay and notice that we had indeed a three-wave move now it was a pretty big move this is the daily chart so you got to understand how much time this took this was a very complex chart all right right here it was an example of a three-wave pullback everybody thought we were super bullish the way how fast that was going up and there, this was like a three-way pullback we're going to the moon everybody and then all of a sudden it just turned around and continued going down if you don't think that can happen then you know, I just want to, I don't want to call you anything, but you just got to understand that that can happen, okay? Uh, and then we came down here in three waves right here, and then we went up in three, we went down in three, and then we just shot up, man. And everybody thought, oh, this is it. This was the big three-wave move. Now we're going to the moon. And uh, I shorted the mess out of that because we saw that this was a flat, and look, it came down and broke the low again, okay? So if you don't think that that can happen in the market, and it doesn't happen in the market, you've just got... You've just got to wake up and see the wave structures, that these things happen. People ask me, why are you so bearish, Jim? This wave is going up. It's going up fast. Well, because we've had many, many times, many, many times. Like, uh, for instance, like right here, we had another flat right there. That's a really extended one. But, man, this wave was bear bullish, bullish, bullish. It was going up. Everybody says, yeah, yeah, now we're really going to the moon. Here we go. And then, boom, it tanked again. Uh, so, you know, and then finally it did go to the moon, right? It, finally it did. But the point I'm saying here is that uh, just because, get back up here now to our, our market, just because this is going up up fast and, and, and you know, and it looks super bullish and you've got to understand that the, there are counts that we have that we can see in, in the charts from Elliott Wave perspective that this could simply just be a large flat, three wave down, three wave up, and then a five wave down. Okay, I just want to warn you about that possibility, guys. This could go moon as well. I, I'm not here to tell you it's going to go one way or, the, uh, or another. My take, though, is I'm look, I'm really watching for this flat to happen. So be careful in the market. Just want to, just want to warn you and, and just caution you properly. Just because uh, I just don't want to see anybody get wrecked at all. And uh, you know, again, this isn't trading advice. I'm not telling you to sell right now. I'm not telling you to do anything. I'm simply showing you a structure in the market that can play out, and you have to know the signs for it and, and how to play it and how to trade it if you need help trading it along the way we'd love to love to have you in our discord we would give you a warm invite uh, to the discord just become a patreon supporter of the channel and we'll get you right into the discord with that said you guys have a great day uh enjoy enjoy your columbus day uh those of you in america and everybody else in the world uh those of you in spain thanks columbus for uh you know finding uh, uh finding the new world so to speak and um yeah anyway <laughs> talk to you guys later Bye bye